Hello and welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be creating the traditional darkroom solarization effect. Now before we begin, the first thing I'd like you to do is to click on Window, Workspace and Essentials. That will ensure that our window space uh, is the same, so we're working with the same screen layout. Now when you select your image, you can select a colour picture, we're going to make this one black and white in a second but you're looking for an image with plenty of contrast, some good tonal values and an image that you think will create a nice striking effect. I would like to make this image into black and white so we're using the adjustment layer here very simple and we're going to step back to the main menu then add a curves adjustment layer now this is a really simple effect we're trying to create a W curve so just manipulate like so and create a W shape in the window here. Now it doesn't have to be 100% accurate, you can play around with it, tweak the effect. You're looking to maintain some nice strong blacks, some good highlights in there and plenty of greys. So a nice striking solarization effect. Now what we've achieved here is known as a partial reversal. So we have a mixture of positive image with negative image. So as I said, nice simple effect. If we look down on the layers palette and untick the black and white, you'll see that it can be done with colour images but more traditionally uh, with black and white. If you'd like to look up uh, the, uh, the effect uh, traditionally and look at maybe artists or photographers such as Man Ray and Lee Miller and have a look at some of their, some of their work. Uh, to finish off, remember when you say save as and save it as a PSD, so a Photoshop file. That will ensure that you maintain your layer information so next time when you open the same image you can actually uh, tweak those controls again. Okay, thank you very much for trying this tutorial. Enjoy!